So in this video, we are going to see how we can send uh, text messages using our Raspberry Pi device. So over here you can see we are just using our Raspberry Pi device and we haven't connected any uh, fancy transmitter or anything like that with our Raspberry Pi device. So we are just going to use uh, this Raspberry Pi device uh, to send messages. And we can receive these type of messages on uh, port pack as well, on uh, Flipper Zero as well, and different uh, devices as well. Uh, so you can send these type of messages on emergency conditions. So let's just see how we can send these type of messages. So over here you can see uh, we have connected uh, with Raspberry Pi with uh, SSH, and uh, uh, over here you can see the tool RPI TX. Uh, which we installed in our previous video. So I will provide the link in the description so you can check out how to install this tool. Uh, so let's just start. So let me do ls. Over here you can see different files. So we have created one file over here and it's quite easy to create. Let me show you the file. Uh, it's over here which is test po pogsec. So basically we are going to send pogsec messages uh, using our Raspberry Pi device. So let me just do nano and test pogsec to show you the co code. So over here you can see this is our simple uh, code. Over here you can see uh, we are using the bash uh, script and over here you can see the message and we are passing this message to pogsec uh, tool. Over here you can see with the frequency. So let me just Close this code. Uh, it's a quite easy code. Uh, you can just copy this code. So let me just uh, run this uh, test file. So it's test pogsec and we have to pass the frequency. So we will pass it on an open frequency. Uh, so you have to check out on your country which frequency is open. So over here, let me pass it on 433 megahertz and you have to type the complete frequency which is 433000000 and 0. And let's just hit enter. So over here you can see it's passing the message. Let me just clear out and let me turn on port pack and let's just go in audio and let's just see the message over here. So let me just type the frequency which is 433 and done. And let me just run this tool again one more time. So I have changed the spectrum a bit. I am using uh, WFM to show you uh, how this signal looks like. So let's just uh, let me just run it one more time. So you can see the signal type and over here you can see this is how pogsec messages looks like and now let's just try to decode this message and we will go in pogsec and we will use the same frequency which is 433 megahertz and let's just run this tool one more time and over here you can see the messages correct and you can change the message whatever message you want to send uh, in this file so you can just do nano and you can change the message uh, let's just uh, remove this line and let's just do control x and let's just run this tool one more time and you can see the result so this is how you can use uh, this uh, POGSEC tool to send uh, text messages in emergency conditions. Thank you.